Hi folks, it's Joel the Hunting Gear Guy. Hunting season's coming right up and I wanted to do a series of clips on uh, how to make the rifle steady. Um, a lot of us out there shooting maybe at a big game for our first time and I wanted to show you guys uh, a couple of different ways to make your rifle steady uh, for that shot. So um, why don't we start with standing? Standing's the least steady. It's probably also where you're going to see your game if you're walking out to see them. There's a couple of different ways to take a shot from standing. First off is just to square up against your game, raise up your rifle and fire. There's a couple of problems with this. Having this elbow out like this, it's not really a lot of stability. So stability is, is really poor with this position. For a quick shot at a close deer, that will do the trick just fine. Um, but there's a lot better options. Uh, one of them that I like to do is uh, use a fence post or tree or something like that rest your rifle on something. Uh, if you can, there's these trigger style uh, monopods or bipods that you can drop that uh, will have this kind of thing. I often just use a tree. If you can grab around it and then make yourself uh, kind of like a rest for your rifle, either on that side or on the other side, just by holding your finger out like that, it really steadies it up if you can hold on to a tree or a fence or something as you're standing. Another option, and um, I would encourage you to go to a maple seed in Canada or an apple seed in the US, is to do a hasty sling. For that, we need, first we need to make sure that our sling is the correct length. Then we need to put our arm in around and pop it up for that shot. This is going to give us some extra stability but it does take quite a bit of time to get into, and you saw there, I gotta make a lot of movements to get into it, and I don't really like doing this one in game, just because if they see me moving my arms all over the place, they might bolt just uh, just from aspect of seeing me. If I come across a deer at 100 yards or so, what I'm really gonna do is grab a knee. Uh, I'm gonna grab the knee that's gonna be my support arm. I'm gonna pop it underneath that elbow. And this is just way more steady than in any of those standing ones. And it takes nothing to get into. I'm walking along, drop down, I'm ready to make my shot, and I'm a lot more steady uh, from this position. Now what if I'm seated either uh, maybe on a, a tree stump, or maybe I brought a chair out, or a heat seat or something like that, and I've got a little bit of elevation. Um, I'm not going to be able to use a bipod to hit the ground. I might be able to use like a set of shooting sticks like these. Um, that's pretty much all that these are good for, is uh, this one height, but uh, I can open these up. These are, Cabela's had these for like 15 bucks. Pop that down, and then pop my rifle onto it. So with this steady rest, I can kind of set the, the height by how wide the legs go, and then I can pop up my rifle on there. Now depending on my seat, I might be able to pull that other arm in. If I'm really low, what I might be able to do, it's kind of hard on this slick surface here, but is pull that other arm in. My front is fully supported. Now this left hand is coming in to help support the back. And this is a very steady way of shooting. I would feel comfortable shooting out to 300 uh, on a deer like this. Um, but keep in mind, try this at the range and see how far you feel you would be confident and make those hits at, uh, at distance. Now the next one to consider is a sitting bipod. These bipods are uh, quite long. And uh, what the idea with these is, you can take a seat and you can use these right from the seated position. So I would pop this a little bit further out and I would brace my elbows against my, uh, my knees here. I'd have my snow boots underneath here. And this would give me, again, incredible stability. Uh, I could also go open-legged like this. And I could sit like this for hours because I'm just very comfortably seated. I might need to like, rest against something on my back uh, every once in a while, but uh, this kind of thing, I could, I could shoot like this. This is very comfortable, very steady as well. Now when would I go with a traditional six to nine like, uh, like this Harris knockoff here? Uh, in a word, never. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about the hunting conditions where you guys are at, but uh, where I'm at, uh, I almost never get the opportunity to, uh, to use something like this because the grass is too too high or there's crap in the way. Like whoever is able to take a shot like this, uh, you'd have to be, a couple of times I have been laying down in the spot where I'd like to hunt and I've done this, uh, this prone stuff, but not very often. It's, you're stuck in that position. 
you can't, uh, you, can, you don't really get a lot of side to side that you can do without make, like, making a lot of movement. Uh, you don't get a lot of up and down, it's gonna wreck your back. Um, so I don't really use these, uh, these short bipods. They're just not super applicable for the style of hunting that I do. Um, they might be for the style of hunting that you do. So just to recap, we went through a couple of different ways of making a rifle steady in practical ways for hunting that I like to use. Uh, in terms of the six to nines, I don't typically take these out unless I'm doing like a PRS match or, uh, or something like that. Uh, this sitting bipod, I use it a lot when I'm gopher hunting because uh, with that, I can sit down and, you know, shell a hill <laughs> and, uh, and and get some a lot of hits. I don't actually use this a lot when I'm hunting. Now that's primarily because I'm hunting from uh, from tree stands and from blinds and that kind of thing. This is not um, great to use in those. But if I was out in the field, if I was hunting cut lines and that kind of thing, this would be fantastic. It'd be very easy to use. Um, if I was hunting seated uh, or always at the edge of a cut line, I might go for something like this, these sh shooting sticks from Cabela's. Again, these things were like 20 bucks and uh, they're pretty lightweight and, uh, and pretty nice to deploy for, uh, uh, for that style of shooting. Now, what kind of brands would I recommend? Well, to be honest, like pretty much everything you saw there is a knockoff of some kind. Like this is not a real Harris bipod. The real ones are like, uh, for this size, I don't know, 100, 200 bucks, something like that. This is 50 bucks off of uh, eBay. And uh, with this one, it's got these uh, adjustable legs with, uh, it's good enough. It's good enough for for this for what I'm doing with it. Um, it does have a little bit of a pad uh, right there, uh, which goes against the rifle. Uh, some of these will just have straight metal, which is not what you want to 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 do. Uh, most of these will use the uh, the sling swivel stud that's on your rifle. Uh, so you see there that kind of grabs onto the uh, the stud that's on the rifle. If you have a fancy rifle and you have a Picatinny rail on the bottom, you're gonna need something that's gonna grab onto that. Something that's quick disconnect is nice to be able to use um, if you're changing which direction you're hunting and you need the bipod, it's nice to have it on. If you're going for a walk and you don't need it, just take it off, that's nice as well. So again, just a couple of options. Uh, hopefully that's helpful for some of you new hunters and uh, hopefully you guys uh, connect with the game. Thanks for watching.